up in, um, actually in Daly City, California, from, you know, toddler to middle of third grade. Then I moved out to Concord, California, where I basically grew up through my high school years. As a kid, I mean, I was, I was actually kind of a shy kid, really. Um, in Daly City, I fit in more, because that's like a, it's just like, like little Philippines Daily City is, so there's a lot of Filipino kids there and stuff. When I moved out to Concord, I was like the only Filipino kid like in the whole class, like so that was kind of weird, trying to blend in. Pretty normal, pretty normal stuff until I discovered music and loving music, which absolutely changed my life and sent me down the road of hanging out with the stoners, listening to metal and uh, you know, Consequently, my grades started to slip a little bit, but then I found my direction in life, so. Born and raised in San Francisco, the district uh, Visitation Valley. Uh, middle child, three you know, total of three siblings from the middle child. As a kid, yeah, I can just tell you I was just jumped by Samoans all the time. <laughs> There's the big Samoan community where I live, always got jumped for whatever, so. But I got out of there, after, you know, when high school started, moved to Daly City, another, you know, as Rob said, big Filipino community. The music bug hit me while I was, you know, getting into scruffles with the neighborhood kid, found some friends who are, you know, like-minded and stuck with it, and here I am today. Yeah, because once, once we started to go to shows, it was just, the scene was, was, growing and we were like the youngest guys in there but we barely were able to make make the cut you know and a lot of these older guys probably thought we were cool that we were you know so into it and they mentored us you know various people and brought us in welcomed welcomed us into the scene and if it wasn't for that i mean we wouldn't have been able to wouldn't be able to, to infiltrate but somehow we did it and, and by that point our band was starting to play too so i think people just thought we were i don't know <laughs> Nuts or something crazy like you know these little guys playing and it must have been a a spectacle but we we were into it and we gave it all we got so you know people appreciate the effort. Back at the in the in the day we were like in the scene you know what I mean we're like Friday night Saturday night going to like multiple shows on within one weekend you're like at five different shows and just club club hopping and running around and just looking for trouble and trying to just get crazy. And nowadays, you know, we're playing so much, but you know, we're just on tour all the time. We're on tour, or we're in the studio, and so when I'm at home, I don't like go out as much. So once in a while, I'll check shit out and I'll see that. I'm glad to see there is a scene. I hear of these bands playing. I'll listen to bands and check them out, but I'm just not out there as much when I'm at home. So it's more so me. Back then, there was like a lot of clubs that did support that style of music. Now, there's hardly any. As you know, it's not only in San Francisco, but everywhere else. Uh, I guess it's, I don't know, because it was new and fresh at exactly. the time. Exactly. It's cutting edge at that point in time, edge. and now it's, now it's somewhat like, retro. I don't know, it depends yeah. who you're talking to, but. It was so. so underground where, I don't know, the internet had something to do with it, I guess. It's just so easy to access. Maybe back then you had to really find it or word of mouth. Out. It's just a different. So everyone was always out at the show to find the what's who's the newest band or whatever we hear word of mouth. Now it's like you know today it seems like kids don't really need to go out. They just go on YouTube to hear it. It, it was, was just new then. It, and it new. and it was, again at our age it was like gr you're growing up and you're in it. But it was just like your normal group of friends. It didn't even seem like a thing. Like you know what I mean? It was just like your your normal. That's how we grew up. We grew up inside of that thing and thank God it existed and yeah. we were just really fortunate to be, at the time you had no idea that that was that. It's just yeah. now when you look back and you, you, you talk about it and you, I didn't realize it was such a legendary thing. It was just what we did, you know? It seemed completely normal to us to be doing that. Um, just like people going to dance clubs at the time. Right, like, like whatever you do. going to a dance club, that's, that's the worst, you know? That's what we do every weekend, so. But I would see that nowadays it's just not the same because it, the thing is not, fresh and new and like totally exciting and you know in fashion basically as yeah. it was back then or whatever so it's, I mean, it's nowadays it seems like kids oh we have to wear that back then we did, we just put on what we put on and 
go, you know. You are the evil devil. To me, all of our records are evolving from one to the next. We're like definitely trying to, to push to, to push our end, you know, push the envelope, push push ourselves out of the box, but stay inside of the of, of the box. So it's like this, it's kind of a of a challenge to to to, to stay to our roots and put out music that the fans of ours that are used to our music will still accept and like, but also to not re repeat ourselves because we kind of love all kinds of styles of music. We have a really wide. Uh, variety of taste between all of us and you know I'm trying to it, if it was up to if I just let it go completely it would just go out of it would just go too far out of the thrash realm so it's kind of the way uh, yeah you know so it's, it's trying to incorporate different elements that we didn't really do before but yet you know and just fixing things that you wish you had done better in the past and putting things in so with all that said I'm pleased with our new album I think we we created what we were hoping to create on this album. Yeah, that question is kind of hard to answer sometimes for me. I just think of it as the next chapter in Death Angel history. I mean, the found, Death Angel foundation is there, we're just building upon it, you know? And the last album is basically a moment in time that's captured on the record. <laughs>